Welcome to Game Soup. Plays Toho Luna Nights Part 2. We're doing a giveaway at the top of this one. We're giving away a copy of Deadlight. This is a game that came out a while ago, several years ago. I played through it on the 360. It's pretty awesome. And uh, I wanted to give away a copy of it today here. So in order to enter, all you got to do is look at the description below and there's a little link there. It'll have instructions on that link on how to enter. So Deadlight. Yeah. Wa watermelon, man. Yeah. We're drinking watermelon can carbonated in water. Yeah, man. It's delicious. It is one of the better ones. I don't usually buy them twice because I like to try new ones. I like to try all the different kinds of canned carbonated water because I have to figure out which one's the best one. But this watermelon one, man, it's up there. Don't you love the sound of people drinking and eating things on streams and YouTube videos? No. No. I, I think it's terrible. I think most people don't. Yeah. Well, drinking doesn't really make a whole lot of noise. No. Unless you make it make noise. Yeah. And then, oh, then it's worse than food. Isn't this the way you came? No, it's not. We can... Can we double jump up here? This you looks can. like a place we could... No, yeah. we can. You can. Here? Yeah. No, we can't. Yeah. How? Wait. How? You're you're two bosses into the game and you don't... No, we're not two bosses in. We didn't kill two no, no, bosses. You, we on killed your, one. On your save file, you yeah. said. No, you gotta get... Um, you gotta get that thing that you can stick the knives into the wall and walk on them. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Stop climbing double jump. Huh? You can't... You can't... You I know think, what? I, it's an ability. You're That's right. It's a separate ability. You're yeah. right. Try it. I... Yeah, you, you can't, can't step it. on them. No, you can't step oh. on them. You need that ability. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah you are bad. You're a bad guy. But you, <laughs> you're a bad guy. <laughs> Jesus. Jk, 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 Jk. We're we're good friends here. Holy crap! I think this is the boss room. It looks sure looks like it. Mm. We only have okay. All right. We just got the chainsaw, which is pretty good for this boss. You know, chainsaw yeah. is all you need to to wreck this game. Hey, you, the maid. Freezer, I'll shoot. Sakia, that voice. Mm, that was rude. She just called me the maid. I prefer to be called a We're clearly a, a dust particle recirculator. <laughs> it looks like you're having fun. Ooh, a witch riding a broomstick. Let me join in. Before I let you join, can I ask why you're here? I came to borrow a book from the library and I heard Romilly was busy playing, so I'm breaking in instead. Don't worry, Romilly gave me permission. Breaking in, but you got permission to do it. She has a big heart for letting a thief like you break in. How rude to call me a thief! Well, you did say you just admitted stealing things. I just borrow things permanently. That's the same as stealing. Oh, there you go. Life lessons. Take something that permission of stealing. I didn't, I didn't know that you were waiting for me to read it. Good timing. I'll finish you off here. I'll finish you off. Finish you off. That sounds like a killing. So a, you're the one that's going down. It's going to be game over. Well, that sounds like a real death going to yeah. happen here. Um, I don't remember exactly how to beat her. Me either. But this looks like it's going to do a lot of damage. It did. Yeah. That was pretty good. You know what's two things I just uh, I want to touch on about boss fights? First thing is when their names pop up on screen, it's only in Japanese. Yeah. What's the name of this boss? Like, Romelia, I guess, right? Or Marisa no, or whatever? No, it's Marissa, yeah. But, like, it pops up in kanji, and there's no English subtitle beneath it, so I, I don't know what that says. Yeah. Which is weird. And also, I really like that the boss health bar up in the top right has numbers. Hard numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that, too. I That is exactly Oops. the kind of information that I die for in-game. That is my favorite type of thing. Oh, this boss, yeah. Oh, wait, we don't want to stop it. We want to slow for this one. Yeah, this, this is a really cool fight. I mean, yeah, it is really cool. Like, they do a lot with the mechanics in the game. Yeah, yeah. They do a lot with the time-stopping mechanics, even in the boss. Eat this Master Spark. I think that's, like, your signature move in the shmups. Mm. I think it's called Master Spark. Whoops. I, I did exactly... <laughs> I did exactly what yeah. you're not supposed to do there. I just like to do this, see? Just get there stop time and hop through it like that. Works out pretty well. I think I'm gonna die, though, on the first try here. Yeah, maybe. I mean, these are... These are the major limiting factors in the game, otherwise you just breeze through it. You still will. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the boss fights are the coolest part of yeah. the game. Yeah. Oh, oh god. god. I mean, if nothing else, the rest of the game just serves as the appetizer for the boss fights. Like, these are, these are pretty involved, you know? Well, that's kind of what shmups are, too, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Right? I think the shmups, yeah, the shmups are usually the most interesting and involved part in shmups, too. The bo the shmups are the most interesting thing in shmups? The boss. The, the boss. boss. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I'm trying to play. <laughs> Sorry, I know, I know. Wait, she, <laughs> she, she didn't do the attack. <laughs> she barely did it. I guess we could try it with this. No, that's not going to work. No. Let me slow down time again. I don't remember if you can or not. Yeah, you can. Oh. I never did it that way, but it works. I'm kind of worrying. Did it at the last second.
Oh, use the use the chainsaw. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I promised chainsawing. I just missed. Damn sometimes. it, Joe! God damn it! You know what's really cool? Oh though? yeah, she suits that red mist there. Oh yeah. There we yeah. go. We'll chainsaw her now. Oh no. You don't she have any more away. time. You're all out of time. I'm running out of MP too. I'm running out of everything. Yeah, you. Yeah, this is one of those situations where you just start to run out of stuff. I'm trying to hit her with the fucking chainsaw here, but I'm really failing here. Wait, oh, this. I know what to do. See? Oh, that didn't. Oh, really, that no. was kind of underwhelming. <laughs> We're never gonna hit her with this damn chainsaw. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah, good idea. Oh, I have no MP. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we got no. We'll slow down time. We'll do it the slow down time way. That works. Actually, it's kind of easier than stopping time because when you stop time, sometimes it, it's not in a position that you can dodge. But with the slow down. You didn't use the chainsaw. Get it. Oh you yeah, it wasn't a, wasn't a real good angle. Just at least once before you kill it, you got us that chainsaw, man. I got it. I don't have any. Oh, there you go. go. There you go. See, it yeah. does, it, it like grinds into her. Yeah. Grinds into the enemies there when it's, you use yeah. that chainsaw. It's really nice when you stop time and you can shoot Oops. out two or three of those at once. It's the burst. The burst damage is insane in this game. Like you know, like, you can see that with these, you know, stopping time and shooting all your knives out. You can see how like the game is kind of built around burst damage. Oh, you just have to duck there. I always, oh. I always try to slide, but you do only have to duck there. Get wrecked, lady. All right. Well, that was easier than I remembered. This wasn't supposed to be like this. You shouldn't be able to use your power. Why? Really? I don't remember saying anything like that. Damn it! Wait, does she know? Oh, Romelia tricked me! That wench! Well, that's why she let her in. But she she could have just flown away. Instead, you were defeated by a cleaning lady. You're pretty good for a, you're pretty good for a maid. Precisely because I'm a maid, I take care of my master's enemies with all my might. I told you. Is that a maid's job? I thought uh, that was a bodyguard's job. Yes, yeah, same thing. I got permission. Whatever. You lost him. Please be a good girl and go home. I went easy on you. You treat me so coldly. It wouldn't hurt you to bring me a cup of tea or coffee. I think these are like quirks about these characters. She likes maybe she likes tea and coffee, and she's a thief. Mm. They keep on. I think they're probably trying to work in like the uh, the, the quirks of the characters in the dialogue here. Uh, anyway, I see. Fake world. <laughs> you didn't even read the dialogue. No. You just said fake world, but I think we get the idea. Wait, didn't, did we not know that yet, that it was a fake world? We already knew it, yeah. Oh, okay. That's like the first line of dialogue in the game. Oh, yeah. Hmm, okay. Fine, I'll let you look around the world before leaving. Goodbye. Great. All right, goodbye, Thanks, bitch. Thanks, lady. Thanks. That witch does whatever she likes, but I wonder what she meant by being tricked. It kind of bugs me. <laughs> oh, man, I tricked my... Oh, I tricked my niece the other day. Something fierce. You know when people say something fierce? Yeah. They just mean, like, real bad? Yes, yeah, we, we get it. I'm gonna tell you what I did. Okay. We, uh... The, uh... The rooms downstairs are... Oh, this... You better get that, that, uh, ticket now. Yeah, we're gonna get that ticket. I was hiding around a corner, and we play this game where, uh... Or, like, peek out from a corner. She's, like, what is she, three and a half now? Mm-hmm. We play this game where, like, I sit on the couch, and she peeks out from behind the corner, and, like, she pretends to come wake me up, and I'm sleeping. And then sometimes I'm behind the corner and I, and I go wake her up. But, oh man, one time she uh, she was hiding behind the corner. She thought I was on the couch. I got up and I walked around into the kitchen and behind her. And dude, I scared the crap out of her. And I went, oh, and I grabbed her. Like in a playful way, not like in a mean way. But she did not take it well. I mean, she started crying. I felt so bad. Yeah. But, like we've, we'd been playing for like an hour at that point, And she's so much fun to play with. But, damn, I got, I got her so bad, man. I got her so bad. Wrecked! Wrecked her. I felt bad. But my sister was there. Or no, my... Was my I don't know. Who knows? I don't know who was taking care of the kids. It wasn't me. So we got Nobody a was shop the ticket here. Kids were left alone. With the knives. Mm. Oh yeah, what we have to do... Oh yeah, you can just hold the B button. Yeah. To swap items. You can also yeah. just press LB and RB. I didn't do that. To swap here. Because it, I like I like time to stop when I switch my items. Oh, you do the... Okay. See, so, yeah, I'm right. using the shop ticket here. The... Let's talk about the menu here. Yeah, I hate it. A little it. weird. It's bad. Yeah, it's the, just bad. The, the UI, the UX design here is a little odd. Mm. So if I'm if I'm correct, the B button doesn't do anything here, right? Uh, no, the B button does not exit. You have to go to cancel... Oh, God, wait. Why we would you do cancel? that? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 we don't have it. Welcome to Game Soup. Wait, did you let's start the let's just start the whole episode over. It'll be fine, man. Nothing bad will happen. Well, you just saved. We can't even go back and uh, no, it's fine. Well, we'd have to beat the boss again. Yes. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, let's just talk down up to uh, Lost. Yeah. That's fine. Let's, I, I wanted to see what happened. Let's work back and get another shop. We're going to need it. Yeah, we are going to need to get that shop to get. So now we're going to have you know to what? back. Oh my god, let's look how far. Just march on ahead. We'll find one. Yeah, we'll probably find one. Yeah, that's probably correct. Find one. Yeah, because, yeah. God, there's so much back. If you just want to get somewhere, yeah, there's man. only like two locations in the game that you want to get to, ever. And they take a million years to get to. That's the worst part. Like, if you really want to get to the shop, it's going to take you five or ten minutes and you're going to have to run through 20 rooms of stuff like this. Like, enemies that are just uh, annoying sometimes. Okay, I know I complain a lot. This is like the only enemy in the game that's, that's super annoying, but whatever. Also, we have 40% map completion. I was looking at that number rise when I was playing. I was like, yeah, this is kind of a short game. We're almost halfway explored everything. And like, it looks big on the map, but it's not. You just, you blaze through these rooms. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's going to come to a stop real soon. Oh, it is? Uh, well, the, the, the crazy puzzles are coming up here. Very soon. Because we're almost to where I got to in the game. Yeah. We're probably like 20 minutes from where I've gotten to. The next section of the game was the place where I died the most, only because... Well, okay, in my defense, A, I'm impatient, but also B, the game... Oh, this is going to oh. be an unfortunate sequence of events. Games should not make you wait as long as it as this game makes you wait. Like... Oh, I have an idea. Games that... Oh! This is where the chainsaw really yeah. comes in handy. It's basically the axe of this game. Mm -hmm. Like the axe in Castlevania, which once you get an axe in Castlevania, that's mostly what you're going to use. It gives you oh, so nice. a different kind of attack. Yeah, the, the arc attack really rounds out an arsenal in a game. Oh, come on. So you're just waiting for these platforms, baby. Didn't make that jump. No. The platformers, hell. Yeah, well... In my defense, I mean, look at how, look at the ceiling. It's right fucking there. It is right there. You are right about the fact that it is right there. But yeah, I should have made the jump. Come on. Eh. Eh. Also, for such a short game, they really, they use pallet swaps quite a bit. I'm fine with that. I mean, it's understandable. I'm I fine guess. with pallet swaps. I mean, we're going to do it. Yeah, we are going to do it. We're only two dudes. This wasn't two dudes, was it? I don't know. What if it was two dudes? Then holy crap, we have a... Oh my god. I don't think it was a big team. What was two dudes? Hollow Knight was two dudes. Three no. dudes, right? I think th I think three working on the game, and then they had... So I think they might have had like a marketing guy or something. I don't know. It's a small team. Like, Hollow Knight is maybe the, the most impressive small... The most impressive ratio of guys to... Of, uh, of team members to greatness, I would say. Like, for a game. But that is a game that does not respect your time. Maybe greatness isn't the way to, to put it. Like, the most impressive yeah, yeah. for the lowest number of guys Wait, is, what, is yeah. maybe the way I would describe you're, it. You're about to, you're I, about to I die. I fucking know. Oh. I know, man. I just know. Oh, I just noticed. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh. I died. Okay. All right. That's okay. That's all right. We just... It's, it's cool. That was a really dumb way to die. Um, I was going to say... Okay, we're a little bit ways back. Why don't we just stop for a second? All right. All right, so yeah, I should have done it like that the last time. Uh, we were talking about hitboxes off camera, off camera, off recording, right. and uh, we were gonna bring that up here. Well, maybe there's a camera in here. Maybe we're being recorded by somebody. Yeah, you're almost always on camera in the 2019. Keep that in mind. Did you hear that somebody in an Airbnb in New Zealand? Y you know what? I'm probably gonna fucking die again. Oh really? You realize that? Yeah, maybe. See? I've got no help. We really need a shop ticket, man. We could have bought some potions. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's fine. What? I'll just save. You're fine. So, You're yeah, fine. I'm just going to yeah. save. I don't even know where we're going now. Are uh, we going? Well, we could get our health refilled, and then we could take... We could go to the shop. Oh, yeah. I yeah. guess we'll do that. Maybe now's a good, ch good ch chime. A good chance to do that. A good chance or chime to do that. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it was just... We were just talking about it. How, uh... Some, sometimes the hitboxes are... Like, they're pretty lenient when, tr when you're trying to avoid, like, the spitting axes. And I realize that I don't actually know where the hitbox on the character is. So, like, it looks like you're just barely making some of these, uh, like, these tight fits between spinning blades. Yeah. But it matters when you're fighting a boss, and it's like a bullet hell style attack, and you don't know, you don't know where your hitbox is. You don't know where you're supposed to be dodging. So, yeah, like, here's the, well, here's yeah. this, oh, go ahead. You can, you can finish like, logging. you just blindly jump through, like, a path, like, a very narrow path between bullets, 
and you hope that you know you kind of guess where the hitbox is. I mean, the character sprites are pretty big in the game, right? Yeah. But the, yeah. Hip, the hitbox is smaller as in just about every game, but the hitbox in this seems to be particularly small for a Metroidvania. But I was going to say, there is a solution to it. In the Toho games, oh, you, when you hold down the fire button, it puts a little circle on your hitbox. Yeah, yeah. It shows you exactly where your hitbox is. So that's all they have to do, like this move here, where you're charging your yeah. your slowdown time. Just show where the hitbox is. Put a little circle, whatever, in her chest or in her neck. It's probably in like the chest area, the torso area of the character. And if you've played, if you've heard of the game Robbie Ribby, which is another Metroidvania, the game does something pretty much exactly like that, where there's an item you can equip that lets you see, oh, you're gonna go to the shop, or... Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, there's an item that lets you see exactly where your hitbox is, and that is that is absolutely a bullet hell Metroidvania, even more so than this. This is not really a bullet hell Metroidvania, it just has elements of it. But, yeah, I, I would really like to know where the hitbox is for these boss fights. But I guess, I guess since it's not so schmuck bullet hell -y, uh, I guess it's okay. It's more forgivable, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's fine how it is. It's fine how it is, but like, but if they wanted to add it, probably the easiest way would be just while you're charging your shot here. It would just be a good way to show it. Yeah. And people who are familiar with Toho games would know exactly what's going on. And it's not Toho's not the only game that does it. It's very, very common in shmups. Like, it's information, and giving information to the player is almost always a good idea. Well, no, that's not true. Oh, the watch. We lost the ability to control. Okay. So okay. No. So this time I won't cancel. <laughs> actually, I'll now cancel. Now you can, yeah. And then we'll we'll actually go. Okay. Yeah. So oh yeah, you can't press B to go back. You have to go down to what's called cancel. Look but this. If you hit cancel here, it doesn't take you out of the menu. But if you cancel here, it takes you out of the menu. And if you use the shop ticket like I did before, you're mm -hmm. kind of screwed because that's why we had to run all the way back here to get to the shop. Now we can sell all of these. Yeah. So did you do it? Um, we want to sell all of them. Wait. You can just sell all of them. You don't have to do it this way, right? I forget. Yeah. Uh, how do you? Left. Oh yeah, there we oh, go. We just go to go. sell all. I forgot about that. Like, yeah, I yeah. think the first time I did it here, uh, I did not know that you could sell oh, all, no. and I sold them all one by one. Oh, no. And then I saw at the end, oh, sell all. Whoops. Huh. I could have done that. But yeah, we can just sell all of our. So now we have zero of right. everything, and we have. Where does it show our currency? Money. Money. Fifteen thousand eight hundred fifty-three at the top there. What a roundabout thing, right? But. But go back to the gems for a second. Oh, sorry. I, I don't mean to, like... I'm, I'm really backseating you hard, man. Go I'm ahead. sorry. But, uh... They're about to point this out to us. But also, each gem gives you a very specific bonus. Like, diamond is the rarest one, so it gives you defense and attack. But they all give you something. But, uh... The effect is really minor, I think, is what they say. Because you're gonna be collecting a lot of these, you know? If you hold on to it, you get a bonus? Yeah, if you don't turn them into money. Oh. Which is easy to do, because here in this menu, there's nothing to buy in this game. Yeah, there's status up items. Like, these give a permanent buff. So these are probably worth having. It's like, eh, plus three Shop knives. ticket. We need to get a shop ticket yeah, at so least that we one. can go back to the shop yeah. again. So we always have to remember to get one of the... At least, yeah, to get one of those. Here's the thing, man. I didn't use consumables in the game at all. So, um... And I'm really bad at Metroidvanias. Yeah, I bought the magic consumable thinking I was going to use it because I keep running out of magic. But I, I actually wound up not really using it that yeah. much. Um... Probably a permanent upgrade is going to be what we want here. Yeah. So, yeah, we have close to... The, I think we should just get the time. I'll just get the time. And also there's an experience that you can buy for 100,000 gold. First yeah. of all... That would probably maybe give you a level up at least. Maybe. But. First of all, yeah. Is it, if it's a level up, is it just one level up? And second of all, how do you get 100,000 gold in this game? How many... Yeah, you'd have to play a lot. It'd be like many, a grind, yeah. right? Yeah. You how many go to hours do it of once. farming? There's a lot of farming today. Yeah. We're halfway through the game. We've only got 15,000. And it... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was going to say something else, but it was uh, irrelevant. I don't know. Maybe there's some good spots to grind at the very end of the game. So we want to warp back. So you can see, this game makes you really wind around to get to the places you want to be. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. If there's a... There's point A and point B, and you can almost guarantee that it's not yeah. going to be a straight line. And it's going to be some roundabout way. And because there's no empty spaces in the map, maybe that's just a side effect of that. The fact that every single cell is filled in for some reason. Yeah, really so weird. everything weaves around a lot. But I think they could, they still could have interconnected the areas. Like, just yeah. use, using keys and uh, abilities to, to just bring you around, give you shortcuts. Yeah. And like those key doors, doors sort of give you shortcuts, but 
more so they just lead you through the areas one by one. So it's yeah. not like... Uh, yeah, there's not really a sense of interconnectedness. Oh, that did kill them. Usually when I do that, they just fly out of the way again. Oh, I hate him so much. I hate him, I hate him. I hate him. So, we want to go, I don't know, man. To the right and down? Yeah, I guess so. To the right and down or all the way around and up. We had missed. I'm going to kill these things with my time. Good thing I just upgraded the time. Hey, you know what? I think you can actually refill your MP by dropping these knives on the ground and then picking them up. Like, if you do it just right. You think? Yeah. See, if you hold down the button, when you jump, it sticks the knives into the ground. Like, from doing the floating attack, it makes them stick into the ground, and then the knives stay there, and you can grab them back, and it gives you your MP. I think that's a way to get more to get your MP restored faster, if you just do that in place. That's weird. I'm not sure if it's on purpose, but I think it works. That's really weird. What a weird thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Oops. Because it, it doesn't cost you MP to do that double jump. So you're really you're coming out positive here. Yeah. It's like a net. Well, we can find you. we can find out. I'm pretty sure it does though. I think I tested it on my own. So okay, we throw a shit ton of knives here. It's here like one per second, right? Yeah. Doesn't it look yeah, like it's going it pretty is. fast. Holy crap! It is. Yeah, it's going faster. Every time I grab those knives, it goes up a little bit of extra. Yeah. So yeah. it does work. What kind of what kind of strat is that? Oh, to re to reach on your mana faster, <laughs> just, jump in place yeah, for keep, twenty. Seconds. Just keep double jumping. Yeah, come on, come on. I'm being really harsh in this game. I love it. I loved it. My time with it. Very short time, but very fun. I'm just being harsh on it because I don't know, man. More and more, I just like I'm more critical of the flaws, even though I yeah, understand well, where they're coming from. It's, it's it's kind of what we do on GS. We we talk about everything about the about games, good and bad. Yeah. yeah about game design. And also, because we're about to venture into this very same genre, I feel like I'm I'm uh, unconsciously being extra critical about, yeah. about mechanics in Metroidvanias. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna fuck some things up too. <laughs> we're gonna screw some screw some things up in our game. Oh. <laughs> Alright. But it won't be these things. It'll I be... mean, no, our game's gonna be uh, excellent. You should... Uh, yeah. I mean, it's... They're, they're gonna forget I said that because it's gonna come out in... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Like a year, maybe. Or longer. Who knows? It's gonna take a while. Oh, good music in this game too, by the way. Yeah, it's um, it's Toho music. I told I told you never to li I told Ed never to listen to Toho music, because uh, it sounds like his his style of music. This is, it's similar to the, the style of music that Ed used to write. He doesn't write music exactly like th th that's like this anymore, but it has a lot of like sixteenth notes and uh, fast notes to it, right? I don't. I'm not a I'm not a musician. No, you're right. Yeah, you're but right. Yeah. Ed probably knows more of the technical terms, but. Oh, and this. Yeah. You come out of that slide. Oh, come on, man. And, yeah. All right, Look I at think... that, that enemy placement, dude. All right, we'll stop time and then there we'll slide on in. There you go. That's a good Did trick. I still get hit there? No. All right. Yeah, my writing was never this good, though. This is like... This is this is good. This is really good music, but it's yeah, like these also... Are the, yeah, these are, the, these are like classic songs. Yeah. So these are existing songs. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't, uh, are they remixed or anything? I think so, yeah. There's a lot of Toho remixes. A lot. Yeah. It might be like the most remixed, it's definitely like, it's definitely the most remixed indie series. If you even want to call it that. I don't know, is Toho still indie? I guess so. So look, yeah, to get to the room that's two to the right, the blue room. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around. We gotta, yeah. Do like, really, a lot of backtracking yeah. in this title. Yeah, uh, alright, so that's one of my other gripes. Like, we've already talked a lot about this already, but the level design. Like, just the Am way... I gonna be able to make it? Yeah. yeah. I don't usually do it that way. The way that the rooms are connected, it... It's... It's okay. There's... It's okay. It's kind of like... Mindless, in a way. It doesn't feel like it was laid out with any specific intention. Except to make you just backtrack and walk long curves around things. I mean, yeah, there's... You gotta have some backtracking, and I, I don't think yeah. it's bad to have backtracking, especially if it plays a little bit differently going back and forth through uh, through the rooms. Like that's one thing about Metroidvania is you have to design the rooms to be traversable in two directions, right? Because the player is always going to be coming through them. You don't have to do that for a more linear game, so you have you have less freedom 
in designing a Metroidvania. For the most part, there's not there you there are ways to design one-way rooms, but anyway, that's kind of a tangent. Just wanted to make that quick, real quick point. All right, so anyway, we're fucking here. <laughs> we got the yellow key, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. All right, we're about to find out. Yeah. yeah we do. Oh, oh yeah, guys. this guy. These are actually really easy because you just just stop time. <laughs> <laughs> That's that can be said of almost everything. Yeah. I'm glad we got that time upgrade. I didn't get that when I played. I got a bunch of consumable items. Oh yeah. I'm usually the the one that goes for the consumables and Metroidvanias, but I don't know. I just oh, I'm running out of time stop here. I'm abusing the shit out of it. And <laughs> ran out. Well, I guess that's how they get you. That's where they really get you. Oh, good soda. How the hell do you get it into the garbage? I don't know, man. I have no idea. It doesn't even look like you can move it. Maybe if you like stop time or slow time. Wait, how did you do it that time? Oh, you know what? I bet. Yeah, well, maybe you slow time and yeah. then. It's also really inconsistent when the can. Like, there's no tell for when the can is about to drop. Like, I don't know how far do you have to walk for it to. Like, it just fell out of your face. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's really. It's very strange. Runny boy. Oh, here we go. Oh, good. Get a teleporter. Do we want to go anywhere? I don't think so. No, I don't want to go anywhere. What are those things? Are they dinosaurs? Like Yoshi's? They kind of look like. Well, no. It's like the. It's like if somebody had never seen a Yoshi, and then you described it to them. That's like if you tried to draw a Yoshi yeah. just out of your memory, that's what it would look like. <laughs> you think so? You think people don't know about his big? Circle, circular nose. I bet I could draw Yoshi out of. I'm no. I know. I'm I sure Yoshi could, right yeah. out of my head. You're an artist, for God's sake. Of course you could. No. Well, I mean, yes, I'm an artist, but most uh, most things I can't draw. I've just drawn Yoshi a bunch of times before, oh. so I, I would. I think I remember how to draw him. Okay, I've never drawn Yoshi in my life. I'm yeah, gonna try and do it. I'm gonna do it. All right, then when you take over, I'll draw Yoshi. I'm actually. So don't show okay. me what it looks like, and then we'll compare Yoshi's okay. and see who got it closest. We won't do it based on uh, art skill. Anyway, right. what are we talking about? Oh yeah, they only move when time stopped. I actually forgot about that. So we have to stop time in order for the green ones to move here. All right, so we got to set this up so that we can move through it, and then we want to get this green blade moving, and then move our way through here. Then we combine the purple and the green. This is where it gets a little complicated. These are the puzzles here. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is one of the puzzle rooms that killed me a couple times. I think. Th I think it was this room. Yeah, this is this is tough. I remember this yeah. actually. So we want to stop time. I think we want to get this green one actually all the way over to the other side here, and then get that going, and then do this. Get this out of the way. Yeah. There you get go. it moving. Oh. And we want to do this. There you go. Right here. Okay. Yeah. So the blades. It that's that's harder than it looks to do. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we got it. These platforming challenges are paced kind of strangely, where you have to do like several rooms of them, and like we said last time, you end up having to go back through them the way you came. And puzzles aren't that much fun to do a second time when there's a lot of waiting involved. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Actually, this is coming out better than I thought it was. This Yoshi I'm drawing? I'm actually drawing it. Oh crap, I messed up. But yeah, being an artist doesn't mean that you just know how to draw things out of your head. It's a, you don't magically just remember what every character looks like. But Yoshi's a pretty simple character and I've drawn him a couple times before. I'm actually, I'm trying to picture in my head what Yoshi looks like. And like I'm sort of doing it. But I don't have a clear image. I just can't do that in my head. I, I don't have a clear image of things that I think of. Like, can you do? Can you close your eyes and see in clear detail, like a character or? It takes a little while. Like, yeah, it takes a little while. You kind of have to do that before you start drawing. You get kind of a rough idea in your head before you start actually making marks on the paper. 
you get like a rough idea in your head. Well, I screwed that one up. Look like because I did it the other way around. Unless it's something you've drawn like a hundred times before. But the, one of the most important things about making art is reference. Like, if you don't know what something looks like, you don't. You actually don't know what anything looks like. That's one of the first rules of right. art. You you want to get you need reference. Okay, this is where we, this is the ability that we that we can climb on oh, yeah. climb on knives that we were talking about earlier. So we can uh, stick the knot. What the fuck? What? Oh yeah, we gotta stop time. That's right. <laughs> so that we can walk on them. Wait, is that what it is? I thought we could walk on the ones on the on the wall. Maybe it's only the these ones. Maybe it is. I never did the thing on the wall. I only ever did the double jump. I, I, thought I, you, I thought you could do it on the wall. I remember being able to do it. Maybe I'm wrong. We gotta try it now. Hmm, maybe not. They all seem to come right back to you. The ones from the wall. Why? Why? Alright, let's kick that can. Oh, wait, the can is gonna... So we probably got a slow time here. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, really? Hmm, good news. Alright. Just it's, got some good news. It's twins. Uh, <clears throat> I made some money. That's the news. Oh. Well, that was a little uh, non-stealth brag there. Anyway, we're trying to see if I can... I'm trying to figure out how this fucking cans work. Did the cans just... I think the cans... They just automatically come out. And then we can slow time and kick the fucking can. You don't... I don't think you can kick it. I think it just falls from you wherever you're standing. I, I can't figure this out. It's really frustrating, but... You know, it's just for an achievement, so I don't really, I don't really care. I'm not the the type to try to get every achievement. Nah. I don't, I don't play my games that thoroughly. I actually don't even beat a lot of the games that I play. In fact, probably most of the games anymore. I don't even beat them. I just want to experience what the game has to offer. But this, I do plan on. Well, we're gonna beat it on GS. So, but yeah, I wanted, I wanted to beat it before we started playing the game. But it's been a while since uh, we got the the review copy of the game, so we wanted to, to get it out there. It's a neat little title, is what I would say. If, we're, if I were a game reviewer, it's a neat little title. Just no, like you that. want to talk about game reviewers? And Sekiro. Sekiro. Oh man, yeah. So Sekiro came out uh, like uh, two weeks ago, and as as happens every single time a From game comes out. There's a, a renewed debate on the internet about whether games should have easy mode. Which, no. It's not really a debate. <laughs> I think we're just right on this one. <laughs> well, now, well, now, I, now, yeah. now, people are entitled to their opinions. They're entitled to their opinions, but they are very likely wrong. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm trying to jump off this there fucking knife here. Go. All right, that was pretty poorly executed, but I got I got out of it. You're about to be in big trouble, man. Oh, come no, on. you're not. Why would, okay. I be out in, why would I be in big trouble? <laughs> so it's rooms like this, right, with spinning blades, but also enemies that just directly hone you? Yeah. Uh, kills me, kills me, makes, takes me. Oh, I got time paralyzed. Oh, those damn drummer boys. I love those drummy boys, man. What silly enemies. Like, I like that kind of, I like when there's something goofy like that. Yeah. Like, I don't expect a drummer, a drummer boy is the enemy. Those are cool. All right. Yeah. It's, I mean, we've seen a drummer boy before, but not in this context. Yeah. All right, so we got, <laughs> we got fairies. He's very cute, Skeletons, dino, oh, and Like, drummer fairies, boys. you kind of expect, it's a Toho game. I don't remember ever seeing any uh, drummer boys in, in any Toho games no. before. They're cool, and they play their little snare drums. Burp, burp. That debate. Oh, yeah, debate. So, yeah, you know, the idea is like, oh, so Miyazaki games are too hard, and I, uh... I want there to oh, be an easy mode so that I can experience them. But the problem is with that, and this is just my opinion, but I'm right, is that the whole reason you feel accomplished when you play a game is, is because you're overcoming a challenge in the first place. And certain games only work at one difficulty level. Come on, warp up, sir. Okay. And because everybody plays these games differently, there is no good way to design multiple difficulties. And it's not needed, because every player has to overcome the same obstacles. Heck, there's a there's a guy who I think is a quadriplegic? Quadriplegic, and you got Eternal Clock. 
the Wait. amount of time that can be stopped has increased. So that's, that's what we bought from the shop. That was yeah. the upgrade that we got. So we just got another one of those. So we can see how much time. I think it increased, it just increased our max. So it doesn't, it doesn't refill at an increased rate, right. but we just have like, a higher max. Is it 10 I think more it's 15. 15. It was 15 on the first one. So I think we're gonna have 130 now. Nice. That's quite good. Quite excited about that. This is a resource that I take advantage of. But yeah, there's there was a quadriplegic that managed to play Dark Souls. There's there's uh, guys that play video games one-handed. There's there's people that are bl there was a guy that was blind and played through Ocarina of Time. Like those are challenges to overcome, and you can do it. You can do it too. You don't need an easy mode. That's that's what makes games satisfying is when they are hard. Yeah, they don't all have to be. Not all games need to hold your hand and and walk you walk you through it. Some games. Most games will do that. I mean, most games will... These days, uh, yeah. Yeah, most games now, and that's not that's not bad. That's not to say that's bad. Actually, I would... Uh, I think we're probably going to design our, our game to be a little bit closer to that philosophy. But I think there's there's definitely a place for, for very difficult games that don't have a selectable difficulty. Like, uh, yeah, like Sekiro and the, the Dark Souls games. Like that's that's a that's a niche, and we're allowed to have very specific niches in games because mm -hmm. there's so many different kinds there's so many different kinds of game players. Like some players just want a really difficult, challenging game, and it's unfortunate for reviewers because they have to crank out a review and they should finish the game in order to review it. And well, it's going to take them a long yeah. time to beat a game like that. It's going to be frustrating if you're on a deadline. So I can kind of see that. I can kind of sympathize with that. I think, but. Um, I was thinking about how many people must not have finished the game before the review copies or uh, were before the embargo yeah. was lifted. Like, how many press yeah. people did not finish the game on time? Probably a lot. Yeah, that, that's been a problem. Uh, rec yeah, recently, there's been a bunch of cases of reviewers getting caught, not either not playing the game or plagiarizing others' reviews. I guess we won't go into specifics, but Dead that Cells. is becoming a problem. Yeah, Dead Cells is one of them. IGN, uh, an IGN reviewer copied somebody else's Dead Cells review. Yeah. Was it was it verbatim? I guess we are going to go into this. Almost Sorry. verbatim. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a while ago, but that's yeah. a fairly recent example. There's been a few others, but yeah, I don't really need to get into all of them. Oh, this room. Oh, this guy. I yeah. didn't know that was going to attack you. I actually haven't been here before. Oh, why don't, okay. Why don't you actually take over at this point? All right, all right. So, um, yeah, we were going to swap off the controller when we got to the point where I haven't been yet and we're Wait, are past the that point. Different? Oh, sorry. You're going to oh. have to change the control. Son of... Oh, you know what? Well, we can do it here. Okay, mm -hmm. good. Uh, yeah. I think only two things are different. Uh, I made this B to stop time and I yeah, made Y. Yeah, the skill is Y. Is that it? That was it. That might be it, yeah. Yeah. Wow, you're Excuse weird. Me. You do it the other way around? Yeah, I don't know. I just decided to do it that way. It seemed more intuitive to me, but... I don't like how close that enemy is to you when you walk in here. Yeah, and you don't expect... It's the first time you see this guy. I didn't yeah. even... I didn't expect that shit. It'd be like if the chandelier was right here and you just walked in and yeah. immediately crushed you. you yeah, know? You, you couldn't see it. It's like, that's very clearly meant to look like it's in the background and then surprise you. But why is it at the start of the room? Really had to blow my nose. No, nah, I'll mute it. If we uh, just note down the time. Yeah, we're all right. Note that it was 24 minutes and 51 seconds into episode two. I'll, uh, I'll use the magic of... God damn it! I'll use it's the magic right. of computers. It'll probably be fine. I was away from the microphone. I'll, um... Yeah, so what happened was because I edited that out in uh, post, you don't know what just happened. But I'm going to put sounds... Uh, I'm going to put elephant sounds there. Oh my god, I did it again! It's very hard to talk and play this game. Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, um, but yeah, Sekido. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Yeah. Sorry, re be before, if this topic is over, I just want to say one No, it's not over. On. I, I okay. got a couple things to say, right. but go ahead. Um, think of the most, single most satisfying thing you ever did in a game. Or like, the single most challenging thing, or the single most fun you ever had in a game. For a lot of people who have played Dark Souls, that was uh, beating Smoe Nornstein, right? Or, what is this? Uh, it's a lot oh, yeah. of Frankenstein's. Frankenstein. Like oh. I, <laughs> I was yeah. worried we were gonna have to battle them. But like a lot of people would say, Smo and Ornstein, because oh, it took me five days. It took me two hundred tries, and at the end, I was so happy. I screamed in elation. I've never been that excited about a game. Like ignore the the difficulty that it took to get you there, but the fact that you can say that about this one boss fight. You're always working hard to collect jewels. You know, I guess, okay, now now we'll narrate. I've been wondering for a while, what do you plan to do with all those jewels? The family ju the jewels are crystallized MP. Possessing them will improve your powers. 
Wait a second, that's, that's not true. We talked about it, like, ten minutes ago. What, really? Maybe I forgot to tell you. You can check we're what kind more of power. Than, we, like, more than halfway through the game and we just learned about this mechanic? Yeah, this, it's a strange time you introduce it. Hmm. Like, yeah. But if having the jewels improves my powers, isn't it better not to sell them? No, it's better to sell them and buy items. Oh. I wish there was I wish there was more to buy. It only improves your powers a little. Yeah, I imagine that it will probably be balanced so that it's better to buy permanent upgrades. Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, she shouldn't tell us that. Her interest <laughs> is for she for some reason is really obsessed with buying hundreds of jewels off of you. Hey, we can't shop for free? <laughs> she just stopped by to tell us we have to use our <laughs> ticket to actually shop. Also, uh <laughs> you can't do anything in this menu. All you can do is return to the game, change the controls, and quit. Yeah. Like, I would like to know, um, I would like to know the bonuses that these jewels give you. Oh, yeah. That might be useful. Hey, that would actually be useful. It tells you the bonuses when you're in the shop, but yeah. not here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that'd be nice to have, like, just a little tooltip. Like, there are some really strange UI decisions and, like, uh, programming decisions It's in this like game. not, you figure it out fast enough, but it's just not, it's far from optimal. Yeah. I guess we would say. And, like, I know designing games and, like, the UI around games is so much harder than it looks. It I is a lot. It's something that. you don't think about. It yeah. really is. Unless it, unless there's something wrong with it or, or hard to understand, you don't think about <gasps> it at all. And some and there are some big titles, some AAA titles that fuck it up, too. Like God of War, the new God of War. Oh, really? The menus in that. I think we might have talked about it on the show. But there's some very confusing things in Oops. the way that the, the menus are laid out in that. And there were a few things. I can't remember exactly what they were because it's been a while since I played it. But there were things that I didn't realize till like halfway through the game <laughs> that were, that were uh, just because I didn't navigate the menu properly. Another good example, Skyrim. You know the inventory system in Skyrim? Half of the screen is just wasted space. It's literally half the screen is just nothing. And like there's, there's parts that, where you have to scroll through inventory or, or scroll yeah. to look at items. Why is half the screen wasted space and they make you scroll instead? Like that's, it's flashy. Yeah. Like, it looks a little nicer. Oh, this is cool. Thousand daggers. But, uh, it's a terrible I never use. Got this. It's a terrible use of, of efficiency, screen efficiency, you know? What's thousand daggers? Is that an oh, ability? Sorry, yeah. It's, uh, it replaced, like, the chainsaw. Oh, yeah, it's just an, oh, it's one of these. Okay, yeah. cool. This is actually probably the most Plus powerful. 40. Yeah. It better be powerful, yeah. This is, I think, the most powerful ability in the game. Because it lets you, uh, stand right up next to guys, burst damage, and then get grazed back to do it again. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, so it's it's pretty useful. You can uh, it's really good for bosses, but you know, what's this puzzle? Oh yeah, you probably stop time going, stand on the water. Wait, you can't, you can't do oh, you it. Just if you just slow time. time. Yeah. Oh, you just slowed time. I bet you could do it. Here, give me, give it to me. I bet. I oh, can do it I see. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, try it. I bet we could do it. Oh what? <laughs> I changed the control. Oh, you changed. It. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> All right, so you stop time. Do this. Yep, you were right. Oh yeah, because you can't move when you're underwater. Yeah, no, no, you're, uh, you were right. You're oh right. yeah, okay. I didn't even realize I'm that. I'm a fool. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I'm very, very smart. And here's a cool use of that puzzle right now. Uh oh, there you go. You know. But, yeah, I mean, I mean they're pretty clever. They were pretty clever with the puzzles in yeah. the game, at least from what from what I saw. I was just about to say it. It almost doesn't qualify as a puzzle though. Yeah. It, I mean, what else? I don't know what else you would call yeah. it. Yeah. But like it's sort of, it's a linear Obstacles. path. You can't mess it up. It's not like there's a wrong solution to it, you know. But at the same time, it does require you to like deal with the abilities that you have. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think they I think uh -oh. they handled I think they handled all the, the time stop mechanics. Like the combat is is awesome. The boss fights really really are where it shines the most. I think where they uh, where you have to use the the knife abilities fast and they also uh train you with the puzzles during the during the uh exploration parts wait can we do this now can we get Ooh, we still can't walk on the knives only on the double jump ones like like to me control gameplay and particularly controller about the most important things to me to to enjoy a game stop it and i realize it's not like that for everybody some people like story some people like um yeah, just a cool world to explore. Obviously, there's there's tons of different things that attract people to different kinds of games. But for me, I, I really appreciate good gameplay and good game design. And this game has has um yeah the control down and the the mechanics, time mechanics of the the, the character down really well. But, right. Oh yeah, difficulty in games, right? The uh, there's a really funny IGN video 
of, of the staff complaining about the difficulty of Sekiro. Uh-oh. Sekiro. Uh-oh. Sekiro. And so yeah, that's funny. Watch it after the show though. Don't don't watch it right now if you haven't seen it yet. No, no, no. I would like to find a save point because I'm about to die. And there's some waiting. Like right now we're just waiting for the yeah, timer to recharge. Yeah, there's a lot of that. Like it's a game with a lot of backtracking and a lot of waiting. So, yeah, there's like 90% 90, 90 of games now. I mean, I'm just pulling a number out of my ass. But I would say probably the majority. Ooh. That's probably not where you want to go right now. And those purple things keep moving when time is stopped. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, it's just another area. Yeah, I don't well, think we can get, get there's a save point, here. but... I think this door is blocked. Yeah, it's green. Indeed. I haven't seen this area yet. It's a clock tower. Looks pretty neat. I like the background. It's a pretty original concept for Metroidvania. What are you talking about? I'm I just like it. kidding. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. This is, this is quite dire, in fact. Oh, you want to... Yeah. Hey, you can you can stand on them. They just can't be in a wall yet. Oh, they can't be in a... That's the trick. Oh, yeah, because you can reclaim them if they're in a wall, but you can stand on them if they're just floating in the air. That's kind of weird. You would think that if it's stuck in a wall... What game has that? Like, you can stick something in a wall it's, in um, order to walk on it. We played on the channel. It was the game where you throw a spear into a wall. I forget what it was called, though. It was, a. Uh, I think it was Adult Swim published. It was a, like a game, it was an 8-bit style game, really hard. I don't remember what it's called though. If you remember what it was, leave it in the comments. Was it... House of Dead Ninjas? No. Super House of Dead Ninjas? No, no, no. It was like Conan the Bar... It wasn't Conan the Barbarian, obviously, but it was something like Volgar that. Volgar the Viking? That was it! Yeah. That was the that's one. That's right. Yeah, 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 Volgar the Viking. Yeah, that might be what I was thinking of. I don't know if that's the only... There's... Yeah, that... Yeah, that's a good example though. Yeah. Hey, Let's just go with that. I screwed that up badly. I hate these guys. So, did I ever tell you how much I hate these guys? Yeah, and they don't even stop when you freeze time. Oh, those fan. ones, because they're purple. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we were looking oh. for. That's Aki's voice. What's wrong? A powerful witch is waiting just beyond this point. Might be difficult, but don't give up. Don't worry, I can already handle it. You may not be you may not be able to stop time, but you can slow it down. Wait, what? Wait, you can't stop time here? I can already use my power, power to, to stop st time. Dot dot dot. I wonder what's wrong. You don't need to thank me. This is all I can do. So she's talking weird because the the letters are all uh, lowercase and uppercase mixed. Aki, why are you speaking so strangely? No particular reason. I was tired, so I was resting. Something is wrong. I wonder what happened. I just took over reading that. <laughs> it was a team effort to read that dialogue there. I did it! Oh, you did it. Well, great job, Ed. Is it is it farmable? Damn it. We gotta, we gotta find out. Is it farmable? Hey. Yo! That was a direct shot. Come on. Yo! There you go. You got it. It is farmable. Can you imagine farming this 10 gold at a time? No thanks. So yeah, most games... Yeah, most games are... Either have optional difficulty options... This is, or they... Oh, we're, we're gonna fight a boss here. Sorry. This is okay. where I got we'll, stuck. We'll eventually finish this topic. Maybe. Next episode. As I thought, Miss Patchouli is here. Patchouli. How is it? Are you having fun? You read it. Oh. Miss Patchouli? Did you create this world? It was Remy's usual request. If it doesn't exist, let's make it. The red and white shrine maiden gets upset if we try anything against Sokyo, so we created a separate space. I guess since it's been so peaceful, Remy needed some excitement. If you would have said so from the start, I would have played along. It's no fun if we tell you. The element of surprise is what makes it exciting. That may be true, but I have plans too. Remy's selfishness always pops up suddenly. You're right. Anyway, we're here, so we might as well have some fun! I don't mind, but is your health okay? There's nothing to worry about. Today's a good day. I will show you a bit of my true magic powers. Nate. Nate. That's a really smooth animation. Yeah. I gotta say, the animations are great in this game. Uh, this is the boss... <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun. I did it. I managed to escape that. Uh, was it this boss that I was... I think this was the first boss that took me, like... Switch to... You might oh, want to... God damn it. Switch that, to the chainsaw. Yeah, I hate that attack locks you in place for that the duration. Yeah, this is, this seems like the boss to be using that chainsaw. Yeah. Every boss is the boss to be... Well, you no, know, you're right. Oh, I forget these attack patterns. Yeah, LPs are a really hard format to do off-topic... 
rants on, not, not rants, off, yeah, off topic topics. Things yeah. that are off topic of the game because you have to keep on interrupting with, you know, talking about the game you're fucking playing <laughs> right now. <laughs> I mean, that's more important. But we like to talk about some off topic uh, topics. Oh, that didn't on work. On the channel. So, like, a, a podcast is probably a better format for that, but Maybe. we like to kind of mix the two here on GS. But you can stand on these steps here? Oh, no, you were standing on your knives. Yeah, Never mind. Yeah. It looked like you were standing on the steps for a second there. My eye just read it wrong. That was definitely my fault. Are you doing all right so far? Yeah, that chainsaw. chainsaw. When that thing lands and every hit lands, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is definitely the most shmuppish boss so far. Everything's coming down at you. Yeah, like it's a shmup. Like you have to, you're aiming upwards and dodging bullets that are coming from the top boss. I mean, that's. How about this? I don't know what this right is. There. Yeah, yeah, it really is. She says, "How about this? I don't know what you're referring to, lady. I don't know what the hell you talk." Oh, crap. Yeah, these attacks do come pretty quickly, though. So it's it's kind of hard to dodge them. Obvious statement is obvious, you know? Oh god, oh god. I think we got this. I think. I don't think she has any more attacks that we haven't seen yet. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, those are cool, though. Those bullets that don't move until you stop time. Because they know you're going to stop time. Can I shoot another one? No. No. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you keep running out of, uh... Running out of MP. Yeah. I tend to use MP and then... I don't stop time as much as you do. I think I just... Yeah, I abuse the, the time stop. Well, you, I think, I think we're opposite. If we combined our, yeah. our abilities... How about you hold the left side of the controller, I'll hold the right side of the controller. <laughs> and we'll see if we can, uh, if we can play the game together. You ever done that before? Y with you. What, what game did we do that with? Skyroads, remember? Oh, Not yeah. With a keyboard. Well, it yeah, was, well, it was... yeah one, one jumps and one moves with the keys. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's kind of... Yeah, I've done that a bunch of times, actually. When I was younger. And even as an adult. Me and my wife played um, Dawn of Sorrow. We played oh. Dawn of Sorrow. I think, I think uh, I don't know, one of you used the D-pad and one uses that's the, cool. the other buttons. That's, that's a game that's probably really good for that. I've seen people do Dark Souls, too. Dark Souls, where one per yeah, one person controls uh, like blocking and running, and the other person will control dodging and attacking. It's it's really, it's like a very complex dance, man. That's a lot of stuff to keep track of. Personally, I don't like depending on tools, but oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, we well, if you wanted to see the dialogue, sorry, you're gonna have to rewind a little bit. We just talked over it. I'm sorry, we're, we're talking to Patchouli. Patch Remy left quite a useful character for you. Patch no, that's not it. My intuition was right. I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain. Making it rain. But to use gadgets, she's pretty smart, too. Miss Patchouli? I like that the the dialogue box moves around with the character. Yeah. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but I like it. Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, you won, so you can move on. Will I be able to see Lady Romelia soon? Yes, she's waiting at the clock tower just past here. Since it's Remy we're talking about, I'm sure she's itching to play with you. After Miss Patchouli, 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 what the, what is, I've heard that word before, what I'm, is Patchouli? I can't let Rady Remelia wait. Leave it in the comments, because we don't know what it is, and we don't have access to the internet right now. Or ever. Why don't you finish reading it? Oh, I can't Miss read right now. Patchouli, please go home and rest. Yes, I will head back to Scarlet Devil Mansion first, the real one. Oh good, the dialogue's over. Oh, I, I just skipped something that I didn't mean to you skip. You did? Yeah, what happened? She, like two lines of dialogue, maybe? Oh. Uh, That's all right. Of self-reflective dialogue. Let's just beat the boss again. Oh. I'm JK. I know. I know. Now, what we are going to do is uh, go back here. <gasps> oh, there's the green key. That'll get us into that clock tower. Now, you might be wondering, is uh, is there a secret in this room? No. No. Sorry, let's finish that thought now, huh? Yeah, 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 finally. So yeah, 90, not 90%, but a lot of games are, are uh, they, it's like, it sounds kind of condescending to say it this way, but they, they more or less hold your hand through the game or they have selectable difficulty levels, right? Their games are generally easier than they used to be. And that's for good reason, because difficulty was the main gating factor in increasing the length 
of uh, gameplay time for games in the past, and they just they don't need to do that anymore because we don't have a limited cart size, and yeah. And just game design technology has gotten better. It's less frustrating to for the player to be able to play a game that's not difficult. And most players like an experience like that. And I actually like an experience like that. I don't even like to play really difficult games as much anymore that you have to that, that use up a lot of your time just to get through one certain area where you're just banging your head against a certain really difficult part of a game or really difficult boss or whatever. Uh, I I I'd, I'd rather be able to play more games than be able to play to get really good at one game. Like in the past I used to, yeah, try to, maybe not speed runs, but do like no hit runs and, and make up difficult challenges for myself, get S ranks and things like that in games. But now I just like to play as many, I like to play more different games. I feel like I, I get more out of it that way. I, I learn more about game design by playing oh, yeah. more different games. Absolutely. So yeah, people are playing games for all different reasons. So that's one, one a large section of players it really likes difficult games. It's probably not the majority, but there is a very large audience for it, obviously, because Dark Souls and Sekiro, they sell. What's this guy gonna do? Uh, Let's not find out. He's not gonna do <laughs> Use the thousand thing. dagger. Yeah. He ain't gonna do a Whoa, damn thing. he's still thing. alive. He's okay, breathing he's gonna... fire at you. Wow, he yeah. really explodes too, like that Frankenstein guy. Man, all the enemies... I hope you don't have to fight multiples of those later, but I bet you will. You do! Look at that rabbit! Yeah. That's the the... the... Alice in Wonderland rabbit. Now, Alice in Wonderland, there's a great, uh, a great story, a great property. Not even a property, because it's not intellectual property. It's a great thing to steal things from, because it's, it's free. It's in the oh, open domain. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It is. So that's why everybody uses stuff from Alice in Wonderland, because it's a weird story that everybody knows and oh. has like some interesting characters. This is the room. This is the room that I. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. This game. Some of these rooms, man, make me crazy. But yeah, Ed and I are both of the mind that Sekiro and uh, those those kind of games do not need to have an easy mode for. So, sorry, reviewers are gonna have to be a casualty on this one. Like reviewers, if you don't have enough time to play it or you aren't good enough to play it, then well, sorry, <laughs> your job's just gonna be really hard on that one. But there's a lot of players that want to play it, and it does, I, we don't we don't believe that. Yeah. All games need to need to cater to all audiences. There's so many. There's so many uh -oh, games. Uh -oh. There's more games in most genres than uh, than a player of that genre can experience. Like for instance, if you're into collectible card games, well, there's about 50 of them. <laughs> you know, 50 collectible card game style games that you can play. Shit. If you're if you're into turn-based strategy games, there's more than enough of those that you could spend your entire like waking hours playing those and not play all of them. And it's the same thing, platformers, first person shooters, like fighting games, every kind of game. I mean, fighting games, you can pick one and just, uh, that's that's an entire uh, other category of games, entire other category of players, I should say, that, that play games. Here's our uh, final objects. Mechanic. Objects with a yellow aura move in reverse when you stop time. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. I think that's the final mechanic that's in the game, really. And what else can you do? I don't know. I don't know, man. But they teach it to you pretty, pretty quickly and easily there. I mean, that's the only way to get through there, and it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's like it's uh, the, like the colors on a traffic light: red, green, blue. I almost said, but, but yeah, yellow. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah, there's a ton of different genres of games, and the extremely difficult genre. Yeah, the extremely difficult adventure game is a genre of games that I think is is just fine how it is. It does not need an easy mode. It doesn't need to cater to everybody. Every genre of games does not have to cater to every kind of player, just as every kind of music doesn't cater to every kind of listener. And then, yeah, games are different, in my strong opinion. Shit. But Devil's Advocate would say, the more people... Hey, look, a secret room. The more people that can play your game, the the more I don't know. You're what. gonna have to you're gonna have to lower it to the lowest common denominator, though. I don't want all I don't want all my games to be to be brought down to a lowest common denominator. But this is interesting, and very dangerous looking, and I I think it's okay for some games. Like some games should be Yo. able to be. Oh, it's going in the opposite direction now. God damn it! This is one of those things. Like, where's the hitbox? I don't actually know. It's a Whew. Whew. Like a lot of the more um, mainstream shit, titles shit. will will cater to different kinds of audiences, like the God of War, shit. like shit. God of War, the um, the new God of War at least. Yeah, I haven't played as much of the old ones, but I think the old ones might be shit. like it too. But they they cater to an audience that just wants to 
to experience a story and be slightly challenged, but also there are hard modes. Look at this room! So if you do want to challenge, so that like that game can cater to um, multiple kinds of audiences. Who designed this room? Man, do you see this? But again, like not everybody even likes that kind of that kind of genre, like a like a, a violent action game with puzzles mixed in, right? So it's just going to be different different genres for different different people. Or as we like to say, different genres for different stranyas. Exactly. It's a little saying we got over here, down in the Philly suburbs. Like I, I enjoy all kinds of... I enjoy just about every genre of games I do enjoy, but there are some I enjoy more than others. Yeah, ten bucks! And, yeah, any more I don't, I don't usually play extremely difficult games. Oh, that's the hidden, that's the hidden trash can. How the hell do you gonna get, how the hell do you get it all the way up there? I don't know about Check this, this one, out. man. I got a plan. Oh, yeah. wait! You just time. You just stop time. Yeah. Oh, that's all Did you got to do. Hmm. I don't know. Surprise. <laughs> that was a surprise to me. I thought, I thought we were like trying to kick it in there or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't kick them. You can't interact with them, in fact. Yeah, yeah. That's why it was so, so frustrating. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> it was kind of frustrating. Well, I stand to be a fool. No, no, no. You're such a smart... Oh, my God! I wasn't fishing for compliments. Uh, was, uh... You're such a good boy. No, oh, no. Thanks. I thanks, wasn't... man. I you're wasn't... real sweetie. <laughs> Let's just keep complimenting each other. All right. This is great. Yeah. Uh, leave some compliments for Ed in the comments below. Compliment yourself, too. And uh, if you have any thoughts on the video game difficulty and, and should all games be accessible to all players or should most games be accessible to most players or um, do you agree with us and think that there is a space for games that don't have diff adjustable difficulties and are just plain difficult? Here's the bedsheet ghosts. Oh, here ghosts. they are. Here are the bedsheet ghosts. Nothing. Yeah, leave your... Leave your thoughts on the in the comments below. On the bedsheet ghosts. On the bedsheet ghosts. I mean, you can leave a comment on anything you want, really. I mean, look, nothing more creative than a bunch of white ghosts wearing bedsheets. Am I right? Yeah, man. I, I like I like how they look. I think they're funny. I think that kind of an enemy is funny. I think it's high time that those make a comeback. It's been too long since the NES days. I think we need more of these bedsheet ghosts in games. You know, that gauntlet of rooms that we just passed through was one of the stick, big sticking points for me in this game. Well, you did it. I did it, yeah. I managed to do it this time. Well, uh, we're I... probably going to have to go back through them again, knowing this game. Mm, uh, what, I think what, you what's do. What's he doing? What's, what does that rabbit do? Uh, that That's an aura that uh, freezes you. And then oh. things just collide with you. Oh. Which is the most satisfying of all. <laughs> the most satisfying of all. Uh, Look, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Of all status ailments in a game, yeah. stopping the player from moving. You remember Odin's Fear? No, you didn't play Odin's Fear. No. That game froze the shit out of you. Like, it's a, it's a decent... De shit. From a purely... Like, how annoying... This is just obnoxious. This from is... a pure design perspective, like, not taking into account human beings at all, it, it makes sense. Like, I think it's mechanically fine if it's just robots playing the game. I'm not sure if I'm wording <laughs> this wording I, this well. I don't but know like, what you mean. Like, it's a good way of adding variety to a game, besides just hurting the player, to stop the player, to stun the player, slow the player, to do things like that. I think from that aspect, it's a good design, but from an emotional standpoint, it doesn't feel good. And that's what, I mean, that's all we are. Shit. Human, be human beings, we're, we're driven by our emotions, whether we like to admit it or not. Some of us like to think that our... Do we, are we, do we have to get an item to be able to push this box? So we got to go back through the gauntlet? Yeah. Oh, sounds fun. So we also have to come back here later. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. More bedsheet ghosts. And the bedsheet ghosts get to go through all the walls. Yeah, and they disappear. And oh, they disappear. Man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just... This is... A get you gotta I'm, you gotta use your I'm you actually, gotta you gotta step on knives here to I'm get through gonna, this. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna you, die you're, here. You're likely to die. Yeah. Uh, well, you didn't save that long ago, and now we know not to come down here yet. Yeah, but I actually have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you could buy a health up, right? Exactly. Give me that cash. That's a great. That's a great idea. I never would have thought of that. Uh, 
Alright, so just gives you 50 hit points. It's Yeah, Good it's enough. not that much. You need, like, two of them. Alright, we'll grab two of them. Did you get them? You I, got them? Uh, I did, didn't I? I don't think you did. 9,600. Isn't that how much money you had when you sold your stuff? I think it is. I don't know. Hit up to get two of them. Press A to check out. Yeah, hit the button. Are you sure? I think I just. I think we're just buying four now. Oh, who cares? Yeah, who cares if you buy four? Yeah, so there's, like, no prompts. Like, some of this UI is really weird. Like, it doesn't give you information. Well, that's all you can... It doesn't tell you how many you have left, yeah. how many you have in your... A lot of a lot of games will tell you how many you have in your inventory before you buy it, because it's useful information yeah. that you might want to know. And, like, these permanent upgrades, are these infinite? Are there a finite amount of these you can get? Probably not. I don't there, know. There has to be, right? You think? I mean, maybe can not. You, can you just get a, a time gauge that goes to thousands? Can you get thousands of time upgrades? Maybe. Maybe. Increase the time gauge, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't think that's information that we need to know, though, like, that there is that there is a max. Use it fast. Wait. You just used the chainsaw. Oh, no, you hit, you healed. You oh. just mashed, you just mashed <clears throat> the button until it switched to the chainsaw. You are right. And yeah. you're also right that I only bought two, not four, so... Because I, unless I just... I don't think I mashed it four times, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, so good thing that I, that I noticed that, then. Cool. We should have just died and come back. This is... Oh my god! Everything hit stuns you, so if you fall down a, a hole, you fall down the hole, you know what I mean? It's not like we get to keep our gems. We actually spent more gems doing it this way. We probably would have actually been better off if we had reloaded. Oh. Died and reloaded. It doesn't matter. Welp. I mean, okay, there's nothing about it. I guess we can still do it, but... No, let's just, let's just, conti let's just continue playing. We're overanalyzing things here. Well, we kind of do that here. I'm like, here's another room that's exactly the same as the room that we were just in. With all the same enemies. Oh, I hate enemies that just run into you. They're so... <laughs> so lazy. It's so lazy. Yeah, that's one thing that we're going to do in our game that... When you touch enemies, they don't hurt you. It's, it's, unless, unless, like... You can have a few enemies that do it, but they really have to look like they hurt you when you touch you. Like, be spiky or whatever. The yeah. obvious way to do it is to make them spiky. Or, you know, make it a razor blade or something. Like a spinning blade. Something that, obviously, if you touch it, it will hurt you, but... But, like, just ghosts? Oh, jeez. Double stopped, man. Yeah, But it's then, like, you do have to draw another animation. Oh, like, if the, if the enemy just running into you, then you don't have to draw an extra animation. Yeah. If the, if the enemy just running into you hurts you... Oh, did you didn't have the, the no, chainsaw quick. I, I did it wrong. Yeah. Whoops. But, God, that chainsaw is great, man. Yeah. Oh, it's so satisfying, man. It's got that little screen shake effect and everything. Mm. Also, why? Why is the... Why is the arc weapon a chainsaw? It's pretty over the top. It is. It is I, pretty I, over the top. I, I like that. I like that decision a lot. That they made the, the arc weapon a chainsaw. Is that a secret? It's gotta be a secret. No. Go straight ahead. It's not. Hmm. I would expect that one to be a secret because you have to specifically jump over there. <laughs> I, forgot, I forgot about this. That moved just like in the like in the Castlevania games. So imagine that these, you didn't, yeah, these don't stop. Imagine that you had enemies that can't stop, won't stop, like these guys. God, yeah. they're so annoying. I guess some of the most annoying enemies I've ever seen in Metroidvanias. There's More a, than there's two. There's HP down there. There is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kill these guys first, though, because they're going to attack you while you're trying to jump down there. So you just got to stop time and just double jump right when you hit it and you'll step on your knives. Yo! I forgot he didn't stop. Yeah, he don't stop. Oh, those come up. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna do this? Oh, it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jump. Yeah, stop I, time. I couldn't do it. Oh, I no, I couldn't have done it. You fall I, down. Oh my God, we're about to die yeah, again. Yeah, you're about to die. Do you? Ha we don't have any of those health things, do we? Did you buy a ticket? You bought a ticket, right? I didn't buy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy. It. Oh no. Welcome to Game Soup. My name is. <sighs> we we Jeremy. got this. It's we... Jeremy. Oh no. Two guys, just two guys named Jeremy. All right. Well, if you die, we sh we can stop. We can stop this app. We're almost at the end of the game. Yeah, we we're, are. We're getting pretty close. But I don't know. We can probably do one more episode, right? You know what I was thinking about? What time is it? Nine? Yeah, I gotta go. You know what I was thinking about? Oh yeah, we can end this one pretty soon, I guess, if you want. Yeah. Go ahead. Fin finish your last thought and uh, get killed. Joe said something to me a while ago. That was one of the most profound things I had ever heard, and touched me in a very deep and personal way. Oh God! He said to me, he said, "Ed, health is gonna be a joke." All right, just gotta remember how to do this. Um, he said, "Ed, we should have called Game Soup Chicken Night." 
Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> and he was right. What a cool name for a YouTube channel. Well, now I have to tell him why. Before Game Soup, Ed, and Ed used to come over to my house once a week, and we would make chicken wings. And, uh, well, I won't give you the recipe. Maybe if, you, if you're interested... I leave won't it. give you the recipe! <laughs> if you're interested in the recipe, if we get three comments asking for the our chicken wing recipe, you put uh, them in we'll a, talk about it on the... You just put them in a casserole dish and pour hot sauce on them and coconut, shredded coconut. Yeah, shredded coconut and uh, coconut oil cooked at like oh, yeah. 300 degrees. I don't, I don't fucking remember. And actually. McCormick, like anyway. Uh, okay. Yeah, and steak seasoning. Steak yeah. seasoning. Good. They got that was the most spastic way to describe a recipe. If you can figure out how to make these chicken wings with the way we just <laughs> described it, well, good on you. But yeah, we used to get together. We would make chicken. We would watch a TV show, and then we would play games. And they were good. And then when we started doing game soup, we stopped doing that. We just started recording ourselves doing the playing the games part of, of uh, Chicken Night. So we could have just, you know, transitioned Chicken Night over into a YouTube channel called Chicken Night. But instead, we, uh, well, Game Soup was, Ed came up with the name in about four minutes. That's giving me too much credit. And uh, he just looked to see if there were any other channels or anything else called Game Soup. He was like, eh, it doesn't look like it. And uh, he said, what do you think about the name Game Soup? And I said, eh, it's fine. <laughs> so that's, that's why we're called Game Soup. Yeah. There's really no... Yeah. Um, there's no great story behind it. What a terribly unsatisfying conclusion. No, but mm. you know what? There's there's an alternate universe out there where, in this universe, we're Game Soup and released a game called Game Soup. There's an alternate universe out there, Joe? Where it's called Chicken Night and then chicken we released night? a game called Chicken Night? Yeah, except it's Chicken K. Ken, like, Knight in oh, armor. Chicken, I chicken think there's night? actually probably a game called Chicken Night already. I swear to God, if there is, I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit the games industry. I'm going to quit smoking. Okay. I'm going to quit... Ed's looking it up now on the other monitor here. Chicken Night. Well, there's pictures of a Chicken Night. There's ChickenNight.com. The Tale of Chicken Night. Okay, so there's no such thing as a, a game called Chicken Night, but people have come up with this. I mean, it's two very common things. Close, man. Close. Hyper Nights? Wait, there's a Steam Greenlight game called Chicken Nights. Wait, is that a Greenlight game? <gasps> it's on Steam Greenlight, though. It never came out. It didn't get greenlighted. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. This looks like a game that was made in MS Paint, or I don't know what. It doesn't look like a chicken. We should probably show them this. Uh, is this even a game? For, is this real? All right, we, we got to stop talking about this because this is visual. They can't see what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. This, this is the fucking end of the episode. Yeah. You can enter the giveaway. At the link is in the description below if you want to win Deadlight. That's right. We're giving oh, away yeah. Deadlight. Oh, I was going to talk about Deadlight real quick. Uh, it's a parkour zombie apocalypse kind of game. It's like a survival kind of game. It's, it's pretty awesome. If I remember right, eh, it, it probably aged well, but it's a pretty good game. So if you want to enter that giveaway, click on the link below. Um, thanks again to AGM Playism for providing us with a copy of the game. Thank you for watching. Oh, join our Discord server. We do a bunch of other giveaways on there too. So join that if you're interested in that or just hanging out with us and the boys. Yo, you know what I don't like that you can't do? You can't uh, manipulate this. Just wait, I just did it, didn't I? Can you ride up? Like there it's a. Uh, oh, damn it! I messed it up. I don't think you can. It doesn't look like it, but I wish you could. Sorry. Anyway, bye.